All right, a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. Who was your childhood celebrity crush? Well, that's a piece of cake. That would be uh, Christy McNichol. Strangest job you've ever had? Strangest job. I used to work uh, for a company called Personics, uh, where I was a salesman, and I'd go to music stores like the, the Warehouse or Music Plus, and I would try to talk people into using this service where they take their favorite songs and put them on a cassette tape. But they didn't give me a uniform, so I, I just kind of was this guy walking around talking to strangers, and everybody was kind of <laughs> creeped out by it. And, uh, and then CDs came around and ruined the whole thing. So you were anyway. a failure at that, too. <laughs> well, best, <laughs> yeah. Best piece of advice you ever received? Probably uh, from my comedian friends back in the day when, you know, I'd have my comedy act and I'd go and do my jokes and my songs. And a uh, particular guy, Doug Stanhope, always used to be like, man, the funny stuff about you is the stuff that you'd tell me off stage. Like, <laughs> the embarrassing moment you had with the girl or the, the terrible career decision that you made with this uh, offer that you got or whatever. And uh, and that's that's what happened. I, I started telling those stories and I felt like the, the laughs that were made bigger. You. The yeah. truth made you. Absolutely. Guilty pleasure. Air supply. Has anybody else said that one? I, I, no. I think... Uh, Corporate rock, I guess they call it in general. Kansas sticks, I love all that stuff. Biggest risk you ever took? Well, uh, in 99, I did a show in Newcastle, England. Paul McCartney was on the show. Prince was on the show. It was called Apocalypse Tube, and it was this big blowout. Uh, they have this show called The Tube, and they had a couple comedians, and they asked me to go on there and perform. Six countries live, wow. and uh, I had so much stage fright about it, I didn't want to do it, but I just, I got talked into it, and I said, you know, this is what I want to do, this is... Did it go and, well? Uh, it went fantastic. That's great. That was great. A booming night for Henry yes, Phillips. Yes, a little victory in the middle of uh, a <laughs> sea despair. <of> despair. <laughs> What's something you wish you were better at? I wish I was better at uh, character acting. My dad's fantastic at that, and I never got that gene. Who would you trade places with for a day? Bill Murray. Secret talent. Secret talent. Well, I used to do a thing where I could put my elbow in. Oh, no, don't do that. Actually, I think oh, I might oh, have just broken something. Sorry. But funniest, that's it. <laughs> funniest fan encounter. Um, I had a guy, I was in, uh, it was in Lansing, Michigan, and a guy shows up uh, blindfolded because his girlfriend uh, brought him out, and he's a big fan, and he wanted to, uh, to see my show, and takes off the blindfold and he's like, hey, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to your show. And it was a big surprise. I went on and ate shit for about 40 minutes. And like, <laughs> that guy was like, this is the worst birthday present I ever had. What always makes you laugh? Always makes me laugh. Easy. It's when people sneeze while they're holding a hot coffee. Have you ever seen that happen? No, I don't think I'm so. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you get a chance to see it. Proudest accomplishment. Proudest accomplishment would be this movie, Punching Henry. And I'm saying that sincerely, not Can't just that I'm to trying to plug it, but I, I just absolutely love it. Tell me something people don't know about you. I'm actually a funny guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't discovered that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll find out someday. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.